everyone. So we're here in this market in Colima. And before we get started, I'm on the way to the center, but I'm going to buy a couple bananas because I like to have my bananas for breakfast. And I thought I'd get a little footage of the bananas. I guess I just take the bananas. Hola. Para los platanos, tomo los platanos. Sí. Los amarillitos o del verde, ¿de cuál sí. necesitas? Estos dos de estos. Dos. Sí. ¿Alguna otra cosa? Nada más. Gracias. Gracias. Okay, so let's go check out the city. Okay, so we're in the center of town. There's the Colima sign there. We have some interesting graffiti that was painted on the street. We demand justice. Looks like a women's march took place pretty recently. And in my last video about the uh, Dia de Muertos altar, I recommended the video, the three deaths of Maricela Escobedo, which kind of touches, touches on that topic. Uh, femicide justice in Mexico so if you haven't watched that video the three deaths of Maricela Escobedo it's on Netflix I really recommend you check it out so down at the end there so here's the main square of the town or one of the main squares there's several main squares I believe but a lot more palm trees than in Guadalajara and it's quite a bit hotter than Guadalajara too. Unfortunately, the place that I'm staying in does not have air conditioning. So I'm there with the fan, taking my sleeping pills to be honest. But what are you gonna do? At least they're easy to come by in Mexico. You can get your sleeping pills very easily. So there's a Tato cultural, a little interesting cultural fact. Kind of old looking church off to the right. But anyway, wanted to come down. I don't think we're gonna do any churches today. But I did want to come down and look at the Palacio Federal. Because like a lot of Palacio Federales, they're really co cool murals inside. So I did want to check out the mural here in this Palacio Federal. And so this is not the Palacio Municipal, it's Palacio Federal, because we're in Colima, but Colima is also a state. We're in Colima, Colima. It's kind of like Aguas Calientes. Aguas Calientes, Aguas Calientes, and Colima, Colima. So yeah, I just wanted to get out of Guadalajara for a couple days. Came down here for three days. Check out Colima, it's pretty close by, just two and a half hours. There's really nothing. Most of the tourism is uh, in Manzanillo. And that's pretty regional tourism, that's pretty local tourism. A lot of Mexicans go 
the Manzanillo, not a lot of foreigners. I guess a lot, I think a lot of the foreigners would go to Puerto Vallarta. So let's go in and see if we can take a look. Okay, so apparently we went into the wrong place. It is the Palacio del Gobierno that we want to go to. So they kind of sent me down this way, I have no idea. And these I'm going to want to try. ¿Cómo no es alcohólico. Vente a Colima mejor. El palacio, el palacio del gobi gobierno, ¿dónde está? ¿Dónde? El palacio del gobierno. ¿Sí? ¿Por dónde está? ¿Para, ¿Allá para qué lado? Sí. Mira, mira hermano. 20 pesos, hermano. Sí, es hermano. Tu camarita. Sí. ¿Ah? Muy bien, hermano. Eres, bueno, eres buen amigo, hermano. Okay, so I did want to get the tuba. It's a, uh, and I think 20 pesos, I think I, that was the uh, foreigner price. That was the price with the, with the camera. But, I have one to try this. And it's like a palm juice, pretty good, not that strong a flavor. And it's uh, apparently really typical to hear in Colima. So he said that the Palacio del Gobierno was down this way. And I'm gonna walk along, enjoy my tuba. And we're going to find the Palacio del Gobierno. Well, Palacio del Gobierno. Gobierno, encuentra los cuadros allá. Me doy un poco para que pruebe la diferencia nada más. Okay. ¿Qué hay? ¿Dónde es usted? Mm, soy de Estados Unidos, vivo en yeah. Guadalajara. Ok, so I think that I can offer you this thing in English. I don't know if it's better for you. Ah, está bien. It's este fine. es mejor que ese. Pruébela. Todo es 100% natural, cero químicos, conservadores, ningún contenido artificial. También lo que es la tuba natural, que la única diferencia entre la natural y esta es que esta contiene fruta. La única diferencia. Entonces, ¿Y de qué se hace? ¿La palma? Es la sangre de la palma, así sin más. ¿Y es típico de aquí? Típico de aquí, de Colima. De hecho, antes, en el tiempo, como en el siglo XV más o menos, solamente la gente de la alta clase social era la única que la bebía. Así que ahorita pues ya todo el mundo la puede. Sí. Puede beber. Entonces, Refrescante yeah, en, en este I'm día que hace calor. Yeah, it's kind of hot today. Sí. Voy a poner esto acá. Sí. Voy a seguir. Muchas Muy gracias. Bien. Muy bien. Adiós. Well. All right. So we got the free tasting because we had the camera. Uh, we got overcharged the first time because we had the camera, so it kind of balances out. But anyway, tuba. They're very, they're very proud of their tuba, and it's all right. It's not bad. I don't know, it has some peanuts in it. Apparently they put peanuts in it. I don't know if I'm a fan of the peanuts, eating peanuts while I'm drinking, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, I'm a really nice guy there. Let's give me a try of his tuba. So anyway, let's keep going. We're gonna find the Palacio del Gobierno.
Okay, so right in front of us is the Palacio del Gobierno. We finally found it, but the police officer there said that they're remodeling it so we can't go inside and we can't see the awesome murals that are inside. So that's a little bit of a disappointment, but we had a nice little adventure trying the tuba along the way. And uh, so I thought I'd just walk around this little square here, see what there is. There's their main kiosk. And apparently this is the main plaza here. So it's definitely a lot more tropical than Guadalajara. We've come down in elevation, gone up in temperature. And yeah, so I think that this is the main square here. The one I was on before, that I said that was the main square, is not the main square. This is the main square here, but really pretty. Nice place to sit in the shade. So yeah, maybe let's go check out a church since the Palacio del Gobierno was closed. We can't see the murals inside there. We'll go take a look at the artwork in a church. Let's go over and see this cisne, this goose. So yeah, there's not much tourism here in Colima. And I kind of knew that before coming, but once you're here, you really realize it. Basically for two reasons. The first reason being everybody looks at you. It's like you feel like you're a celebrity. Everybody looks at you. And uh, holding the camera, speaking another language definitely c contributes to that. Ugh. That guy was looking at me, trying to be nice, trying to not look, but it's pretty difficult if you're walking around with camera speaking a foreign language, people are going to look. But even without the camera, people are still looking. So you know that there's a lot of tourism because of that. And uh, also people are really friendly. They see somebody that's not from here. I'm just going to pull this down. There aren't many people. But uh, they see somebody that's not from here. I think we're going to go up to this. Basilica, Cathedral Basilica. But they see somebody that's not from here and they're so excited, they're so welcoming that somebody is visiting their town. It's not like Paris or San Francisco or wherever, wherever else that are very touristy places and they'll uh, can be kind of rude to you sometimes in those very touristy places. But not here in Colima. Beautiful people so far and a uh, nice experience. Beautiful buildings, really pretty square. Let's go see if we can take a look inside the cathedral. Thanks for watching the video. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel. It is free. Also, please become a patron at patreon.com. Leave me a comment, give me a like. It all helps to promote the channel and helps me create the channel and grow the channel. So thank you very much for, for your support. Let's get back to the video.
Okay, so right in front of us is what is called the Piedra Lisa, just like the smooth stone. And so it's a big volcanic stone that was hurled into, where are we, Colima. <laughs> it was hurled into Colima thousands of years ago. There's a big volcano nearby. And the legend has it that if you slide down the stone three times, that you will either revisit Colima or you'll stay in Colima. So it looks like I've run off the children as usual. <laughs> um, they're sliding down the stone. But if you slide down the stone, God, and it's hot. That's all right. Okay, so that's one time. Uh, so yeah, if you slide down the stone three times, you'll either revisit Colima or you will stay in Colima forever. All right, so one more time. I don't think it's gonna be a staying in Colima forever for me. It's been a nice enough town, but I must keep moving on. It's hot. Ah. <laughs> All right. So anyway, that's gonna be about it for today. Thanks for watching. Going to Comala tomorrow, the one and only Pueblo Magico here in Colima. So video will probably be out in the next couple days. See you guys soon. Bye.